Hello, my beautiful and talented people. Thank you for everybody who's been liking, sharing, subscribing, commenting. I am doing a giveaway at 5,000 subscribers. So just make sure that you're subscribed and you comment and you are in the running for that. We have pile one, pile two, pile three, pile four. And today we are asking the question, how attractive are you? So we're gonna move on to our gorgeous pile number one. So pile number one, how attractive are you? Wheel of Fortune, Page of Cups, Eight of Pentacles, and the Seven of Swords. Seven of Swords is an interesting one, but I will get clarification. So the Wheel of Fortune, the Page of Cups, I'm getting like you do have a lot of access to your emotional realm. You also may communicate in a very, yeah, you communicate in a very empathetic way. With the Eight of Pentacles, that is about hard work. The Wheel of Fortune, it's like people, you end up being a very momentous connection in people's life. People, like, you you probably affect people's lives in a, in a bigger way than you realize that you do. So I'm going to get some clarity on the Seven of Swords. Seven of Swords is like sneaky. Seven of Swords is running away. Um, three, yeah. Three... Of swords, three of swords is heartbreak. It's like if you have, you know, walked away from somebody, yeah, like the people that you may have not, you know, really given too much of a chance to, like, I, I feel like you affect people a lot more more greatly than you realize. So if you do, you know, not really, I, I'm going to read that two ways, but like, if you do kind of run from a connection, it does leave heartbreak. Like you, people, you, you are somebody who deeply affects other people, but I'm, I'm getting like with the seven of Seven of Swords. There's also the, I feel like you, when you deal with, you know, people who are being, oh, I, I need another clarification because like there's a certain amount of sneakiness or evasiveness and I'm not getting that all of you are sneaky or evasive. I they feel like some of you might have run from a connection at some point. Six of Pentacles. But for some of you, if you didn't run from a connection, it's like you will break your own heart to get away from people who don't offer you something that's fair because you are here for getting balance, having your needs taken care of. Like getting, it's not like you're wanting, it's not that you want no, something for nothing. It's literally like you, you're here. If somebody's not going to reciprocate, it can break your heart. Yeah, it can break your heart, but you're also like, you'll, you'll break your own heart to avoid a lack of reciprocation. How attractive are you? Fool. You're somebody who takes risks. Yeah, again, like you're, you may not know, it's like you may not know what you're going towards, but you may know that it's better for, than where you've been. So like with that eight of wands, 
you're somebody who has a lot of forward moving energy and potential and you work very hard to make that happen. King of Cups. Are you the King of Cups? Is there a King of Cups in your life? Uh, again, like you may have had somebody in your life that, you know, may have cared a great deal about you, but did not express their feelings and that it caused a lot of discord and difficulty. Uh, but you're not, so, you're also not somebody like, you're not somebody who's going to settle for that. It's, it's equality or fairness or it's nothing so you you seem to be very self-assured which is a very attractive quality as i bring out the six of wands the six of wands being like i feel like people know for uh, for one uh, uh, partially by not being willing to continue to be a part of, of situations that refuse to cooperate with you, you, you know, you know, you do put yourself ahead. Like you do like people, it's like people see your value and you insist on not devaluing yourself. Page of <laughs> just throwing cards. Okay. Page of wands. as i drop cards as i usually do should i take any of these i'm gonna put them back in but um with with the fool with like you have momentum in your life you you're somebody who you and as just as i say that the uh the this flips over the the chariot like you are somebody who is moving forward to victory, moving forward to victory. Uh, you, you know, your value and your, even if it hurts, you're not going to put up with people who don't accept your value. And because of that, you're bringing this momentum. Like you have a certain, you've, it's like you had, a, have had, like you've, you've, you're you're attached to your own emotional plane then you are somebody who's like doing the work that you need to do and it's like you're there's only winning in front of you and that's partially because of you know that you you know you're not willing to accept bad behavior and you're not willing to accept you know limits on yourself hope one of your very attractive qualities is that how hopeful you are. Again, like there is this optimism. I do feel like you have dealt, you know, with not always pleasant energy, but it's like, okay, well, I'm moving on from the unpleasant. You know, you're you're very optimistic and and future forward. Like you're, you know that you can make your life better by, you know, continuing to improve yourself. Like, yeah, you guys are very, very smart. Um, because you're, you know, that the power is in you and people can see that the power is in you. People can see your, your rise, your, your growing, you know, like, and people are very attached to you. Yeah. I think the most attractive thing is like, you have a special kind of charisma. Like all eyes are on you. And I feel like it's not that it's definitely not just about the visuals, I mean, you could also be very physically attractive, but it is this, like, people, um, people see this confidence, people see this willingness, this braveness, 
um, you know, people see that, you know, like people see that, you know, that you're, you know, no matter what you come across, you're ultimately going to be the winner. Like you are going to be the person who comes out on top. So people like people to some extent want to be part of the winning circle with you because they do see that in you because for one, you're, you're not continuing, you know, like you'll cut out bad behavior, even if it hurts yourself, it, because you are just moving towards the bigger and the better. And you are absolutely right. That is what's happening. So with, I'm getting that, you know, there's been so many twists and turns along the way, uh, especially regarding your heart. Um, yeah, but ultimately, again, you have this confidence, you have this optimism, you have this charisma. Um, and I feel like, you know, all the things that have been difficult ultimately have just served to make you more attractive really. Um, yeah, you have a clarity of purpose. Uh, and people like see you again, like they see you as a connection that they want to keep holding on to because people can feel, people can feel that confidence. People like you give people hope because you, because you don't give up hope. I mean, you may give up, you may give up people, but you don't give up hope that things are going to get better. You may just give up and uh, you may say, well, this person, you know, is continuing to do an unhealthy behavior and I can't be around it. Um, but you don't make the assumption because this person was unhealthy towards you that every person is going to be unhealthy towards you. Uh, um, you're like, well, good. You showed me who you are. I'm going to move on to, you know, but you're super brave. You are super brave, which is also very attractive. Um, and you are, you are, you have this magnetic charisma because people, whether they consciously or unconsciously know who you are, like they can't really look away. Yeah. So I feel like all that inner work that you've done, it's, it's definitely shining through to the surface. Um, and it definitely makes you very singular in people's eyes. All right. <laughs> Thank you so much. I really appreciate you. If you do want a free reading, I'm giving away to as soon as I hit 5,000 subscribers. So just make sure that you're subscribed and you comment. Uh, and I want to say thank you to everybody who's been liking, sharing, subscribing, you know, it all matters. I'm really appreciative. I'm going to move on to our second pile, pile number two, my gorgeous and talented people. How attractive are you? Five of, five of pentacles, eight of swords. I'm getting like, no matter how attractive you are, it's hard for you to see. Two of swords. Because I've got... So with the eight of swords, in relation to... The five of pentacles, I feel like you're mentally, you know, like you, you feel like that there is this lack here and this causes disappointment and sadness within you, but there is like, it's, it's like there are things that you're putting your attention on when there are like there are these silver linings there are these these things that are actually meant uh to be for you but there is i'm getting 
what how you're attractive is not this is not this part is not about how attractive you are but it is about your inability to see you know what value you bring to the table so like it is important it is important for you to realize that this these are mental constructions that these you know that this with the eight of swords you aren't really trapped but you can be trapped by a mindset you can be trapped you know always finding disappointment and lack in yourself um and the problem the additional problem with that is it's you know this is a these both have blindfolds it's like these mental constructions don't allow you to see yourself properly. Yeah. It doesn't allow you to see what you do have. <clears throat> so how attractive do other people find you? Knight of Cups. Excuse me. <coughs> Excuse me. Knight of Cups. Judgment. The lovers. The ace of swords. And the devil. Now, it's funny that Ace of Swords and the Devil literally came out together. Um, the Devil can often be about, you know, being stuck and embracing mistruth. It can be about obsession or being controlled by fear. It's kind of also, it is kind of the flip side to the lover's card. It's like you know, there is a choice to have these beautiful relationships. Um, but there may be, you know, again, these, these beliefs that you are lacking and these beliefs that, you know, you may not have any control and, and these lead to, those are things that lead you down dark roads. But how do other, like, other people want to give you love. Other people see you as somebody who is emotionally giving. Yeah. With the judgment card, judgment is like, you know, having to see somebody clearly. I feel like often people have a clearer vision about you than you. Some people, however, will use it to manipulate though. Um, and sometimes you may go along with that because you are under the impression that you, you know, that you lack in this area, but that is not accurate. So know that you know, you can have reciprocation and love and that people really do care about you. Uh, but there is like, there is a, it, it's important to have this distinction. It's important to have this clarity um, so that you do make the choices that are healthy for you. But you should know that people see you um, People see you as caring. People see you as lovable. Do people think, I feel like people, people, like the people who care for you want you to have clarity. And I feel like the people who don't care for you will be better got out of your life by you getting half, by you having clarity. So know that, yes, you, 
this is a very sexually magnetic card. Um, you know, so is this one. Like, you are definitely attractive. It's not a lack of attraction towards you. Like, you, you know, and I feel like you do inspire people to attach to you emotionally. Um, but judgment, judgment is often about clarity. And I feel like a lot of people see you as this, as this amazing person that it is worth investing in. Um, but you do need to allow yourself to also see that. How attractive are you? Ace of Pentacles. You're, you're definitely, like, people see you as, like, people want to have new beginnings with you. They, people want to bring forward honesty and fairness and clarity to you. Like, people want to bring you, <laughs> again, the Ace of Swords comes out again. People do want you to see you. Um, people want to see, want you to see you, and they want you to see you in a fair way. Um, but I get that people do see that you, you don't see how, you don't see how awesome you are. Three, three, three is on the clock. Nine of wands, and it's almost like you're still. It's like you're defending your beliefs. But unfortunately, those beliefs are that you're not good enough. And ultimately, you're, you're going to have to put down and stop fighting to be trapped in essentially illusions. So I feel like a lot of people want like new beginnings for you. People want like there are people in your life who really want to give you love, really want to offer you stability, who desperately want you to see the truth, which is you're worthy of balanced love and you are worthy of fairness and that you are very attractive this is a uh, this card is um run by venus that's the the planet in charge of uh, um this one you know obviously gemini but um in addition to that it's you know love and attraction reciprocation but it's also a choice it's a choice to have love. Celestial teacher. Do people see you as a celestial teacher? People just want you... People want you to love you more. Um, and it's not that you're not attractive... But it does occasionally attract people who know that they can take advantage. Um, and it doesn't just attract those people, but because you have these construct of, you know, seeing yourself as not worthy or less. It's like you're not letting yourself see. It's like you're letting yourself see the things that will hurt you and not the things that will heal you. So I feel like with Celestial Teacher, I feel like you're starting to be able to see, like you're, it's not 
okay, you're being given input like from from above, like to help you see the light in you. But I'm almost getting like you're the last to know. So it's funny, I only got two charms this time, um, but they're both very, very positive ones. The Rose Quartz is about, you know, true love, uh, about kindness. Um, the This is about being home, being comforted. Like you do give this, you know, this overwhelming feeling of being this loving presence, being this, you know, comfort and happiness like people feel warm fuzzy feelings around you but i feel like uh people truly want you to realize that you are loved and lovable um uh and they want you like i'm getting like i know that this isn't just an attractiveness reading but like people want you to let go of any beliefs that you aren't good enough. Um, and I know that you've had people reinforce that you aren't good enough. And they did that for their own gain. But that wasn't about you. That was about them not being particularly awesome people. So... People see the awesomeness and the value in you. They see this core of soft heart energy. Um, they see this this beauty and loving. They, you you do grab people by the heart. Um, but you are. Uh, I'm I'm getting that there are some there are some things about you that you know because you expect you know, because you expect lack, it's like you may be reinforcing the situation by picking people who reinforce your lack um, because they're unwilling to give to you and probably actively taking from you. So, so it's not, it's not that you're not attractive, but it is super important for you to be more discerning. And starting with yourself, specifically on not what you lack, but accepting all, all the things that I have accepted to be true are not necessarily that case, especially anything in regards to me not being worthy enough. Um, you are worthy. Yeah, you definitely are. Um, because you are this loving, kind energy, and it's... And it's like the loving, kind energy is is meant to come back to you, and it wants to come back to you. But you need to be willing to accept that you're worthy of that. So I hope that this helps you. Thank you so much. If you do want a free reading, I'm giving away two as soon as I hit 5,000 subscribers. So just make sure that you are subscribed and you comment. And I want to say thank you to everybody who's been liking, sharing, booking readings. Um, I just appreciate it. Thank you so much. We're going to move on to our gorgeous pile number threes. Hello, my gorgeous pile threes. How attractive are you? Four of pentacles. The lovers. Queen of Pentacles and Page of Pentacles. Well, so far you have a lot of Pentacle energy. So some of you may have Earth sign in your. Uh, I will say with the four, the four of Pentacles is often about you know protecting your heart, holding back, holding back. Yes, I am getting like you do. You are this 
steady, stable, nurturing, loving person. And you do inspire love and attraction in other people with this page of pentacles. I feel like you definitely are only attracted, you know, like you want somebody who offers stability, uh, which is understandable because you are somebody who is very much worked to create stability in your life. Um, you do have a little bit of a warning here with the four of pentacles though, the two of swords. Yeah. So you may be holding back too hard, um, in your emotional connections, which is, uh, which is causing mental conflict for you and people who care about you. So just know it's not that you aren't lovable, like you're super lovable. You do bring a lot to the table, but there is a need. There's a need for you to be a little bit more willing to open yourself up. And I understand, I'm not saying you should open up to everybody. Clearly, everybody does not deserve that. There are reasons why we do put ourselves in protection, but... Hope and healing is here for you. And I know this is an attractiveness reading, but sometimes spirit hijacks the reading. Um, so just know that you are somebody that truly stands out. Um, it is an Aquarian card. Um, and this, I feel like Gemini and of course, earth signs. Um, so know that you do have this intrinsic specialness. Um, and I feel like you, you have this, you have this energy that, you know, it's like, because it is unique, it's not something anybody else can touch. Like you, you may be having some conflict and you may be, uh, in, in your mind and may not be fully able to open up, but like, you should know it's like, there is no... There is no acceptable substitution for you. Yeah. The people who love you really love you. Like, really love you. Like, uh, like people, um, people want to give you their heart. Really do. Uh, and there is a need for you to heal yourself enough to be able to accept the love King of Swords. Yeah, I feel like there is an aspect, there is, again, that cutting yourself off from your emotions. Um, again, it's a, another air sign, but the problem with cutting yourself off, off from your emotions is that it creates the lack that you've been so desperately trying to you 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 it's like you've spent your whole all your time stabilizing yourself and and making you strong and, and you know doing a lot of the right things but you're but like there is an Ill, inability to open up and that leads directly like the four of the four of pentacles leads directly to the five of pentacles because it is that there's not enough for everybody. There is this lack. And, you know, then there's not giving when you need to give. And it actually creates lack. So. So what I'm getting is. If you can fix the part of you that makes it hard for you to let these. The, the love come to you. then you're actually, you know, like you're actually going to go on a course of abundance instead of on a course of lack. So are you attractive? You got the lovers twice. You got the star. You got, 
the queen of pentacles like you have this nurturing energy you have this you know, magnetism. Um, you've got the lovers twice, by the way. So like you, like people are very, very attracted to you. The star again, is that, that extra that's, you know, maybe literal star quality. So, um, but Sometimes you have lack in your relationships because you're not fully willing to open up, which causes there to eventually, like, if somebody's giving you love, you can't starve them to death, you know, like, <laughs> yeah, you, it, the energy has to flow. So there is a need for cooperation in your life. So now we have the three, the four, or the five. I feel like you need to go back, you know, because without the ability to cooperate with the people who love you, it is going to cause an end to situations. Um, but just just because even if even if situations have ended before. Even if things haven't worked out before, you can move on to calmer waters. But um, you have to you have to analyze yourself a little bit because this lack of giving is causing a cycle for you. So it's not that you're not loved, but you may not be able to accept it. Um, and because of that, you may not be giving the appropriate amount and thereby reinforcing the initial belief that, you know, that you, uh, that you, you know, don't have to open up. It's just, just know, like you are very loved, like, lovers twice like you are very attractive seven of swords um but you can't run away from it you know like uh well i mean you can but then you just get the tower again um so are you attractive? Yes. You have this star quality. Um, you have people who like really want to be there for you, really, really care about you. Like you have people who definitely want to be your forever transformation. So with transformation, I'm getting like, you're, you're being given an opportunity to leave the this mental prison thinking that there's not enough doing the healing so it's just like it's like you're going to get all the love in the world when you realize that you were you know worthy of it the whole time like it's it's a little bit of you know Dorothy in the wizard of oz like she could have always gone home she just needed to realize that she had the power to do so. So, there is a need to master your fear because your fear is uh, causing certain certain feedbacks in your reality. <laughs> like some of your fears are becoming self fulfilling. Um, but that doesn't have to do with your lack of attraction. Like you are this transformational person. You are somebody that affects people greatly. Like you're, you're not somebody that people are lukewarm about. You are somebody that like, you are like the focus, the star, whatever you may feel. Um, but 
there is this emphasis on lack and not being enough. And unfortunately, there's this reinforcement of lack and not being enough. So I feel like there is a transformation here moving towards the healthy, moving towards the functional connections in your life, making a conscious choice to grow things with people who really care about you and having these, these connections that actually work, you know, the connections that are for you and not against you. Yeah, I feel like you truly have, like, you have soul connections in this life. You have people who, you know, that you, it's like, it's like you're living as if there's nothing there when you have people who will literally just, you know, do anything for you. So, you should know that you... Some of your most important soul connections are already people you know. Already people. Like, you have, again, these people who love you, but you can't... It's like you... If you hold back from the people who just, like, are, are just... Like, they want to shower you with love. But if you hold back from that, you know, it creates, you know, because there is so much love, you can't just be one sided. And even if you feel the love, if you're not, you, if you're not giving it out because you're afraid to, you're, you're creating a unstable system that, that will fall down. And it's the, it's unstable because there is a block, you know, there is this, so I am seeing, however, transformation, and, I, and I'm getting, like, you should know that the transformation that you do make towards being healthier, towards realizing that you can give of your heart more, is going to be beneficial to you. It is going to make you happier. And you are still going to be able to redeem these connections. Um, but you can't do that without the transformation because it just can't be done from a place of lack. So again, you have soul connections in your life. You have people who are crazy about you. You like really just, like you are the most amazing person to them. Like people who really want to contribute to you, but it's like, there needs to be that equal, uh, amount. So yeah, just know that people, regardless of how you feel about you, people see your value. People see that you have this kind, loving heart. With the dragon. I mean, the dragon can be greedy or possessive, but no, I feel like people, you have people in your corner who are very protective of you, whether you can accept that or not, because I've, there's all this very hard hold back, you know, never let them in energy. Um, but you have people who will be you, uh, who, like, whether or not you're giving, like, that means that you may not be in their lives, but, like, it's, it's still, like, they're still your fierce protector, like, they still, you know, you have people who deeply, deeply love you. With Nana, so, in the heart, I feel like, like your ancestors, yeah, I'm getting like, there's something about your ancestral line, there's something about, it could be that you're this closed off because of ancestral patterns, yeah, 
Um, you might be you might be having to break ancestral patterns. Um, and while you have found a lot of the people who are your soul family, I feel like you've had a, a hard time opening up to them. But it's like your it's like your ancestral line, your like they you're doing a service. So just know that, you know, breaking whatever cycles you have to do with you is 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 has helping you in your whole line. Like you are you are healing something. So you should know um that you know the healing and you know like breaking this sense of lack transforming and accepting you know being really very loved is all something that's 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 part of the plan um with the turtle is this about the shell Okay, and, and and you know it can feel like it's really slow, <laughs> and I and I won't lie. Some of the people who really really love you are really really frustrated with you because there is you know a lack of you know it's not a lack. It's that things are moving very slow. However, the healing process takes time. It just does. It does look like. You are transforming a lot of the lack in your life, which means that ultimately you are going to start being able to let in the abundance that you're meant to have, especially with love and affection. But I feel like your, your, your healing intergenerational cycles, um, and your and your ancestral line is thankful that they are you know that your transformation means that much to them but you also need to and and hopefully soon you get to the point where you realize how special individual and loved you are But it's like the negative cycles need to end so that so that you can move on to the positive. So how attractive are you? You've got people out there who just think that you're their everything. Like you like um so it's not of a lack of attraction, but you may have a lack of openness. Um and that is kind of keeping you from getting the full fruition of what you deserve. So I hope that this helps you. Thank you so much. I really appreciate you. We're gonna move on to our gorgeous pile number fours, but at our 5,000 subscribers, I'm giving away two readings. You just need to be subscribed and comment. All right, my gorgeous pile. Number fours. Hello, pile number four. How attractive are you? Knight of Swords. Oh, cards being slow. Eight of Pentacles. Knight of Pentacles. And the four of pentacles. Ha. Huh. So with the knight of swords, um, you're somebody who really speaks truth. Like you are somebody who really it's like you're a truth teller. Um, you're a truth teller, 
you're somebody that is very hardworking. You're somebody that, you know, you're somebody who works for what is in your life that, and somebody who offers stability to people. It's like you offer honesty, you offer stability, you work hard for what you have. Um, but you need, uh, but you may, do you hold back too much? You may hold back, you may guard your heart. I'm getting that there is a certain amount of guarding your heart. Um, the devil card. I feel like you do guard your heart because you have come against people in situations that were very difficult. You may also like have, you know, run against people who, you know, found you very attractive, but, you know, but maybe only wanted that aspect of you. So you are somebody who, who is kind of holding something between you and your heart and the rest of the world because of, because of the actions that has, that have been taken towards you in the past. Six of cups. That being said, you are somebody who's very liked. You're somebody who offers a lot of love, but kind of in an innocent way. Um, I feel like you may be more comfortable. It's like you may be more, it's not that I, cause I didn't feel like you were fully closed off, but I feel like you may be more comfortable giving love in a plutonic way. Four of Pentacles. Again, because um, you are trying to guard yourself. Magician. With the Magician. Yeah, you, you're a manifester. You're, you're somebody who like you work towards what you want, but you also are act like you get your spirit and mind and heart all together. So like you invest in what you want, you work for what you want and you're attracting in what you want. But there is a part of you that's a little bit closed off in the heart space, specifically regarding romantic relationships. Two of wands. But I do get like you, it's not that you're not loving, like you are somebody who's very loyal. You are somebody who, you know, is very caring. You are somebody like, you know, you're the friend that people want to have. And it's not that people just want to be friends with you. Let, let me be clear. In fact, like you, you do attract a lot of physical interest. It's just... Um, you're not interested in somebody who's just here to take something from you. Um, and you have experienced that more than once. Two of wands. So I'm getting like, you have this awesome power of manifestation, like literal law of attraction, like you can attract what you want in your life and you're, you're really considering what is it that you actually want to put your time, energy, and investment towards. How attractive are you? High priestess. Yeah. You're also letting yourself be guided by spirit, by, by faith, by... So, it, so in some ways, like you, you do have this larger, bigger picture, um, thing. It's, um, and, 
and you are like building the reality that you want, but to some extent, like, I do feel like some of you have given up on, you know, romantic relationships. Um, that's okay. Not everybody has to have one, but, uh, but I am getting like, because there is this, you know, because there is this protection in that area and because you are manifesting what's out there like you do have a lot of anxiety regarding that I feel like overall you're actually confident with yourself and with your life I feel like it's very specifically about romantic relationships with the with the because since you're manifesting clarity is really important the are you not clear about what you want romantically no i just feel like you don't you don't want any of the options um you and you don't want you don't want the anxiety Cause I'm not even feeling like you are in anxiety, but you don't like maybe where it has taken you emotionally. King of swords. So I feel like you're, you're letting your, you're letting your mind be your guide. And you are very much deciding what your future is going to look like. That's the two of ones coming out. Like, the, you know, like you're, you're willing to make movements forward. Um, I feel like specifically you may be moving forward, you know, um, and, and it's like, you are, you're going to manifest your dreams. You are building, like you are building things. You, you definitely have a purpose and are working towards that purpose. But I feel like, well, you are, it's, it, it's, you've just gotten so much of the wrong attention is what it is. You've gotten so much of the wrong attention. Um, that, so it's not that you're lack, uh, uh, it's not that you're not attractive. You've just gotten so much of the wrong attention that you want to wash your hands of it. So shadow self. So with the shadow self that's looking at, you know, the parts of ourselves that aren't perfect, you know, <laughs> the parts of ourselves that may cause us to do things that aren't in our best interest. And again, not everybody needs to have a romantic relationship. And clearly, you know, it's better to be alone than to be with some, oh, to be with somebody who makes your life worse. Um... And I feel like that in itself, the fact that at least up till now, you haven't found the right type of energy for you to invest in, um, you know, it, it is perfectly fine that you're choosing to feel, you know, that you're choosing this, um, but shadow self, I'm getting like that there is areas and maybe caused by maybe caused by the pain of these situations that you may have to look in on yourself just so that you're being the healthiest version of yourself so that yeah because there is a need for certain things with the death card like certain things to end and I'm not sure if you need to no longer have any relation, uh, any uh, relationships, but you do need to end any negative cycles and, and own up to any portion that you've allowed yourself to participate in. Again, when somebody's done something bad to you, that doesn't mean that it's your fault, but you may have to consider why 
you may have let something happen longer than it needed to because sometimes you can't avoid anything but sometimes you know maybe you had love for somebody so you held on to something longer than you should have or something like that and that's again not your fault that they did something that wasn't right but you do have to search yourself so that so that you truly don't accept things that are beneath you yeah and then ultimately that is going to lead to happiness stability um i'm even going like you know even if it's not a romantic relationship like uh, but like long-term stable relationships like even if it's like found family just know that like your happiness your happily ever after whether it's platonic or whether it is uh you know more romantic that you do have the potential to have your emotional happy ever after you really do um but you are going to have to examine some things within yourself um because there this you know this holding back your heart is because of fear and while sometimes fear is understandable um ultimately you may have to overcome it so that you so that you aren't you know letting it control you but yes again i'm getting that your heart is a little closed off right now I've got two dragons, the gold dragon and the silver dragon. Now, this could mean like there is a a a partner for you, like somebody that is, you know, is like you is your counterpart. Um there is also no i feel like that you are somebody who is extraordinarily powerful um that you that you're going to bring in somebody else who is also extraordinarily powerful that you are very compatible with um it doesn't necessarily have to be romantic although i do feel like for most people it is but again you're you're bringing in your tribe your family you're being this person who's extraordinarily strong who has this power you do have this power you do have this mysteriousness you do have this ability to just make things happen but you are cutting yourself off and you cutting yourself off is affecting the things that can come to you but even though your heart may be a little bit closed off right now and maybe that did have to do with a connection yeah um i'm getting like there there's going to be an op there's an opportunity for you to move forward emotionally and there's a there's a ability for you to move forward physically like you there's a lot of ability to move forward um is this about the shell okay yeah but you 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 have put a little bit of a shell over yourself you know and you know i'm sure with your life experiences it probably really does make sense but just know that you can have real happiness and emotional fulfillment And just because you're closing, uh, like, I feel like you're not completely closing your heart because you are still keeping it open for more, um, like you're still, you're still willing to give love.
Okay, I just heard uh I just heard that you may not you may not expect to receive it. And that might be part of your shadow self. And that might and that's probably due to past trauma, especially, you know, people who have really not had your best interest to heart. That wasn't in your head. It's just you're being given this knowledge to move towards and you're being given the ability to end negative cycles, to, to grow. So I'm getting like, you know, obviously you shouldn't be open to everybody, but don't, don't, don't close yourself off to the point where you can't allow in the people that are meant to be there for you because you're comfortable giving love, but you may have received it. Like you may not have received nearly as much love as you've given. Yeah. Um, but that doesn't mean that you aren't meant to receive love. And now I feel like a lot of the, the protecting your heart is, is, you know, you not wanting to be in the same situation where your love is not being reciprocated, but you need to allow yourself to be in a situation where your love can be reciprocated. So, uh, how do you do that? <laughs> You know, since you're still somebody who is giving love to people, you're still somebody who is like, see who's truly reciprocating. Take your time to observe because you do have that King of Swords, that observance energy. Know that you, but I feel like part of your shadow self maybe not really fully seeing yourself as lovable. And again, we have those feelings often because of the programming that we've been fed. So it's not like you should be a monster for that, but you do need to look at it and what, it, what caused you to make you feel that way. And it could be, you know, people who should have loved you or taken care of you didn't do that. And that is not on you. That's probably because they were deeply broken people who chose to not do the right thing. But that is ultimately not about you and 100% about them. Now, of course, the things that you do, that's on you. It's not, this is not about the lack of responsibility. You are very responsible for your actions, but you are not necessarily responsible for the actions of what people have done to you. There's a reason why we have free will. Um, but you then have to be responsible for what you do about it. And one of the things that you can do is leave behind this cycle uh, because whether you see it or not, you are lovable. And I'm sorry that the people are awful, <laughs> but not all of them are. So just know that, yes, you shouldn't be open to everybody. I'm not saying that you should... You know, there are people who do not intend you well, but leave open the possibility that there are people who, when you give to them, are willing to not just receive, but reciprocate. And then start just putting more of your energy in those people. All right. I really appreciate you. Thank you so much, and I hope that this helped.